The sudden rush to procure light battle tanks spike anti-tank systems and SIG 716 rifles under an emergency purchase, have seriously dented the Make in India claim of the government. While a majority of the Make in India programs like 111 naval utility helicopters 123 naval multi-role helicopters local production of 62 C-295 transporters 6 P-75I submarines and 7.5 lakh AK-203 rifle production have failed to take off. The spike system has been ordered again, while the DRDO developed NAG system has not even started user trials by the Indian Army, even after the system has completed its developmental tests. Multiple rifles made by state-owned companies and local private firms have not been considered, but a second order was made for 72,400 SIG 716 rifles from the US. Indian private sector firms could have developed a light tank within three years, while the Indian Army has been approved to procure light battle tanks under the emergency route, which shows that the top officials have failed in the proper planning of requirements, and have instead pushed for emergency purchases at the last minute, which will still take at least 12 months to be delivered. The procurement of 93,895 CAR 816 carbines under a $553 million deal was expected to be discussed at the Defense Acquisition Council meeting yesterday, but the deal did not make it to agenda for that meeting, and will be discussed in the next meeting in August. Meanwhile, the European company Thales and the Indian company Bharat Forge has written to the Ministry of Defence, that they are willing to supply the F-90 carbines at the same price offered by the UAE-based company Caracal. Bharat Forge had already signed an agreement with the European defence company Thales to develop and manufacture the F-90 in India. Tato Advanced Systems Limited and Idea Forge have emerged finalists in the mini UAV program of the Indian Army, under which the Directorate of Infantry is now evaluating them for meeting a requirement of 60 indigenous unmanned aerial vehicles. Idea Forge has fielded its fixed-wing hybrid switch UAV, and it has a range of 15 kilometers with an endurance of 2 hours, while the Tato Advanced Systems has fielded its Aquilone hand-launched infantry drones in the competition, which has a range of 10 kilometers with an endurance of 1 hour. Cochin Shipyard Limited has signed a contract for the construction and supply of two autonomous electric ferries for a Norwegian client, which is partially funded by the Norwegian government, and the contract has an option to build two more vessels. Cochin Shipyard has not disclosed the value of the contract, but this project is expected to catapult Cochin Shipyard into the league of shipyards that is capable of handling high-tech vessel construction. India and Israel have signed an agreement to further expand collaboration in dealing with cyber security, and the agreement was signed between the Director General of Israel's National Cyber Directorate and the Indian Ambassador to Israel. China has ramped up production of its JF-17 fighter jet, and the number of fighter jets delivered to Pakistan in the first half of 2020, was the highest in the past five years, and according to industry reports, the production period of a single JF-17 aircraft has been reduced by 15 days. China will start delivering the latest JF-17 Block 3 variants to Pakistan in early 2021, which have borrowed a number of technologies from the J-25th generation fighter jets, and will also come equipped with the 200 km range PL-15 air-to-air -air systems. Oh,